Hey there, how's it going? I'm Eric, and this is my third year doing Extra Life. I'm so excited to be doing it once again and raising money for Johns Hopkins University. They saved my oldest daughter's life twice, and through an affiliated hospital, um, they saved my youngest children's lives when they had to be in a NICU from being born premature. This year, I've got lots of great incentives that I hope will in inspire you to donate money to my Extra Life campaign. Uh, first of all, in a first this year, I'm going to be um, donating, matching donations for the first $100. So for every dollar you put in, I'll also put in a dollar. In addition to that, for every dollar you donate, I'm going to be doing sit-ups or push-ups. One sit-up per dollar. So if you really want to make me suffer, donate lots and lots of money and I'll have to do lots and lots of push-ups. Uh, last year, Dan donated 100 bucks, and I had to do 100 push-ups and boy was I winded at the end of that. This year, I've got a goal of $500, and I'd really, really like to reach it. This is way more than I've ever tried for, but it's really important to me because it really helps a lot. It helps provide lots and lots of um, health care for kids that can't afford it and for, for families that really need it. If we do reach $500, then I'll be coming up with some stretch goals that we can do and see if we can get to 1000 That would be mind-blowing, but if we could do it, think of all the lives you could be helping. Thanks a lot, and enjoy this game. Bye. It's time for Eric Plays Human Resource Machine, Episode 4. Hey guys, how's it going? It's time for some Human Resource Machine. Alright, multiplication is what we were working on last time. All right, so I'm going to call this multipl multiplier one and call this two and I call this the um, product. I think jump if zero is there for efficiency points. Um, so let's let's take care of that first. So when I grab the first one, if it's negative, copy from here and out back that sucker, and then jump back to the beginning. So that takes care of the zero case. That's the easy one. <coughs> I'm gonna move this over. I just had this there the other day because I wanted to uh, have the door open. All right. I'm going to put this label here. Uh, nothing below. That's complete garbage. Uh, all above. Just to remind me, nothing should go to where the zero is jumping. Alright, so I think last time I was trying to multiply this one this many times, and I think that results in more steps. Uh, even if whether which one results in more running time is going to change um, depending on which is a bigger number. All right, so I grabbed an eight and put it here. All right, so now. I grab the three, copy it here. Now I've still got it in my hands. Let's see. So eight times, let's say if this was one. 
then I think I want to copy it also to here. Because that's going to save me a step if this one's one already. So I've got eight, three, three. Now I'm going to subtract here. Then I think what I want to do is copy from here. add it to here, but I missed what happens if M1 is zero. So if now I have zero, then I want to go to um, let's see, let's go let's go here. grab the product I want to outbox it I want to go back to the beginning all right so now I think I want to just go back to here Copy two. No, this should not be copy two. This should be copy from. All right, I think I got it. Let's see. So he grabs. He grabs eight. He grabs three. Puts it there. Subtract one. Add those together. Add those together. So far, so good. oh no! Wait a minute, what's happening here? Oh, stop right now! Add them, and then put it back in. There we go. Now we got it. So we got seven. We got three. Now we got six. Alright, 7 times 3 is 21. So if we get to 21, we did the right thing. Alright, so we should stop now. Put that there. Alright, that was good. Alright, so I think that means we're good. Let's see if we get the zero case correct. Something went awry, I think. This should not be a jump of negative, should it? Why do I have a jump of negative? It should be jump of zero. How did that happen? Went there. Got a one. Put it there. Got a zero. Ah, I see. 
So what I need is on my second one, if there's a zero, jump to here. All right, let's see if I got it now. Because it's 72 puts you outboxing. So whenever there's a zero, things go pear shaped, huh? Ah! I need to zero out my product when I get to the end. Upbox. Then. Where are my things? Okay. Copy from here. Cap to here. Okay, I think that'll do it. Take zero to the outbox. Oh yeah. If there's a zero, why am I copying from nine? I should just take the goddamn thing to the outbox, huh? Alright, let me slow down here, because this is where things go crazy, right? two times two. Why were they expecting 18? Something weird's going on here. All right, let's start from the beginning then. All right, four times three. So we've got 12, okay. So now four. Times one. Is four. Okay. So now we got nine times zero is zero. Zero times anything is zero. Oh, I see what's happening. It's gonna be the wrong number now. All right, so if you've got, if your first one is a zero, second one's a zero, jump here. If your first one is a zero, before you outbox the zero, you want to grab the inbox, then grab the zero. Okay, now we should be good. Perfecto. We did it. Hooray. Hmm. 
Oh. Not up to me. Oh well. Alright, so we've got Fibonacci, we've got Zero Terminated Sum. Yeah, let's try Zero Terminated Sum first. <coughs> no idea what that is. Yes, we believe in educating our employees on the job. Do you know what Zero Terminated Sum is? It's the very old technique. We don't expect you to know. So we ask me about it if you like. We may ask an external source. Or helps you get the job done. Oh, I see. Huh. Okay. So let's say grab one. Got be here. Then we grab the... What if it's zero to start with? Zero. Then this would be zero, zero. So the first one is a zero. <laughs> Put your sum in the up box. Oh, that'd be zero. Back to the beginning. Now, if it's not zero, then I want to grab the next one and add it to this one. Then zero. I'm going to jump to the up box. Hmm. You know, I think I can maybe jump here as well, because I'm not doing anything weird. That would save me a command. Alright, so... And then if it's not zero, then I want to do this, I think. Oh, and before I jump, I probably want to copy zero to... No, no, I don't think that's necessary, because I'm, I'm copying it in there. Okay. I think I might have got it already. Let's see. Wait, why did I throw it away? All right, stop. There we go. All right, let's see what happens now. Three, add them together. All right. So, oh, no. Let's see. I think this used to be here. There we go. There we go. Nope, that's not right either. Which I figured might be the case. Uh, so it's not the initial zero. This is the initial zero. This one, I need to go back and grab what I've got here. Okay. So eight, five. I've got a zero, so I gotta grab that. Put it there. Put that there. Add it. Add it. Okay. 
Now it should be the first zero, where I just go straight to zero. Okay. I've got a new one. Put it in there. Okay, I think I got it. One right, one try. Oh, one too many. Ooh, nice. I got the speed challenge, though. Cool. Alright. Let's go for Fibonacci. Nice to play zone. Make sure you want to be here. Nice shift assignments are optional, you know. They're difficult. You can for help. I'll be here looking through his catalogs for a golden spiral. <laughs> I think everything starts with 1-1, one, one. so... Hmm, this is a toughie. So I think what I want to do, if I'm going for efficiency, right, is... Copy from zero. Um, bump plus. Let's see what happens there. All right, so I, that messes up my. Zero there. So I think I want to copy to here. Bump plus eight. So that'll give me one. I'll box that. Then bump plus. No, 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 no. Wait, if I outbox it, do I still have it? Let's see. Um, no, I've lost it, so I want to do... I know there's only two things, so... No, okay. Uh, then... Copy from eight. Up box that. So that gives me one one. Those are always gonna be there. Then I wanna grab the inbox. I want to copy it here. So each one is the one before it. Okay. So eight. I want to copy it to seven. So now I've got one one. So now what I want to do is compare to this one every time and decrement it. Um, or no, do I want to decrement? Let me see. I could probably just subtract. Um, 
Alright, so I want to subtract. Let's see. Um. Alright, so I think I want to do copy from 7. Add to 8. do that yet let's see well no one one okay one one's always gonna be the case so now I've got one and one so now I've got two one one is two I want to put two in one and one is two I'm going to put it here, I think. Subtract from this one. If negative... Copy... No. Um, if negative... Back to the beginning. Um, if not negative, then copy from seven and a box. All right, let's give a shot. Too high up. We want to go. Maybe here. No, wait, wait. If it's negative, and then here you want to jump. Here, maybe? Let's see. It gives me a negative number. negative copy from eight cup box wait copy from eight out box Thank you. 
There we go. Alright, I've screwed something up. Let's see. to like alternate them or something. I don't know. It's getting late. I'll work on this one tomorrow. It's been Eric once again playing uh, Human Resource Machine. I'll see you next time. Bye.